And there we have it. Now let's see how it reads. It's the exact same story that we told with that short red list. Exactly the same, but we've expanded upon it. Trotting uphill as fast as she can, Megan fights for breath in the smoke. Ghosts of burning sailors appear in her peripheral vision, and she looks around trying to see who's screaming, which causes her PTSD flashback to take over, which causes her to be trapped behind a wall of hellfire as rounds from a burning jet cook off and ricochet everywhere. When the bullets get to a certain heat, they go off, and those bullets are ricocheting everywhere. And one of them kills the wounded surgeon she'd been lugging through this fire trying to rescue. Sailors in flames scream, trapped in the inferno. So she's having a meltdown, which causes the burning ghost to shriek at her to get up, keep moving. Megan is stunned and terrified. The burning ghost screams the word fight. It's a piercing shriek that sounds above the roar of the fire. That challenges her, energizes her. Megan's eyes blaze as she wrenches herself out of her hellish past, now exploding with adrenaline, and she surges ahead up the mountain. She forges ahead, struggling up the mountain, screaming with energy and coughing in the smoke, never stopping as a copse of pines pop and sizzle nearby. Because of that, she jogs steadily up the hill, pulling herself along on saplings, the bear hide flaming and the woods ablaze around her. She crests the mountaintop and drops into a deer pond, extinguishing the bear hide. Spotting a logging road, she hurries down it. Megan runs down the mountain through the burning woods, sometimes falling and rolling, then comes to a ridge and sees the valley beyond. She spots Dancer racing to the chopper as he drags Casey along and despairs, knowing she can never get there on time. She runs into a logging camp in flames. She spots an old topless jeep, its paint burning. Its way is blocked by a small burning tree. Megan charges at a downed burning tree, heaving it roughly to one side. Cut to Dancer, savagely shoving Casey into the chopper. Megan pulls the chalk from the tire, gives the jeep a running start, then jumps in, pops the clutch, and it starts. She roars off, flames trailing. She hurtles down the burning mountain, just speeding ahead of a flaming tree that drops across the logging road. She's on fire as she gets giant air off a dirt berm and tears the door off on a tree. Rounding the corner on two wheels in the flaming jeep, she skids out onto the flat. She sees the chopper spinning round and round in the high wind, struggling to lift off. She roars out of control toward the chopper, desperate to reach it before it gets airborne. She hits a sandbar, gets air, and crashes the jeep full speed into the spinning chopper, getting thrown over the windshield and to the hood. She struggles to her feet on the jeep's hood, hurls herself into the chopper's open side door, the bear hide blazing fire. She mauls one of the governor's men with the bear claw and bulls him out the other side of the chopper. Megan heaves Casey out the door, taking a bullet in the shoulder, dives out the door. She crashes down onto the jeep, landing hard, and shatters the windshield. She kicks away from the windshield, grabs the hook of the winch cable on the jeep's front bumper. Reaching out, she just manages to grab the strut of the spinning helicopter, screaming because of her gunshot shoulder, and hooks the strut. Megan soaks the bear hide, then throws herself on top of Casey face down in the water as the firestorm rushes in, consuming everything. The chopper tries to lift away, but the jeep weights it down, and the flames and wind rush through its open sides. Dancer and Glover burn alive, screaming in the roaring hellfire. Flames roar all around them, and they can barely breathe. The helicopter explodes above them. Casey and Megan appear in court, bandaged. Casey dictates the code from memory in a Navy ensign and types it in. The files decrypt, revealing the contents. The tribunal verifies that the documents are real, and they're staggered by them. The leaders of the criminal cabal are taken away to a black site for treason. So there we went back through it again in a little more detail, and you can see it's still very tight. There's nothing unnecessary in there. That's the beauty of this tool, is that you gradually build the material. And now we're going to divide that into scenes. And we're going to take that one, the scene where she gets in the chopper and the chopper blows up. So there's what we just did. There it is, opened up in a bigger font. And now we're going to start at the top and work our way back through. And what's beautiful about this technique is that this is your map. You've already got all this figured out, so you're not staring up at the sky going, what am I doing? You're looking at this. This is a ladder of events. This causes this, which causes this, which causes this, which causes this. And you're going to go back through it. I want to visualize this a little more completely. And as I do it, I want to create cause and effect with what I create. So you're still rigorously laying down only that which is necessary and excluding the unnecessary. So we're going to take the first two. The chopper tries to lift away, but the jeep weights it down, and the flames rush in through its side doors. Dancer and the governor burn alive, screaming in the roaring hellfire. 
Flames roar all around them, the two on the ground, and they can barely breathe. The helicopter explodes above them. So we're going to think that through in a little more detail, figure it out, figure out detailed mechanics of how that would happen. So the object of this scene, she saves Casey and destroys Dancer and the crew. The final effect that demonstrates that object on screen with real actors is that the chopper explodes and one of its blades sticks into the mud next to Megan and Casey. The immediate cause of that, the helicopter burns wobbling in the blazing sky as Dancer pitches out screaming. The cause of that, Dancer and the governor burn to death screaming and thrashing in agony. The cause of that, the flames roar in engulfing everything. Cause of that, the Jeep keeps the chopper from lifting off. Then we take the next cause in red. Megan soaks the bear hide, then throws herself on top of Casey face down on the water as the firestorm rushes in, consuming everything. So, we're going to visualize that in a little more detail. Megan and Casey snatch a quick breath as the world burns around them. The burnt bear skin steams and then ignites again as hellfire roils everywhere. Cause of that, Megan and Casey shove their faces down into the shallow water in panic as the fire surges in. Because of that, Megan throws herself on top of Casey, the bear hide covering them both. She frantically rolls in the swamp to soak the bear skin. So there we have looked at that and worked our way backwards saying, what's the cause of that? What's the cause of that? What's the cause of that? And we've created that. That's scene level detail. Oh, and rushing to Casey's side, she drops. Then we're going to take the next two red causes. Three, next three. She crashes down onto the Jeep, landing hard and shatters the windshield. She kicks away from the windshield, grabs the hook of the winch cable on the Jeep's front bumper. Reaching out, she just manages to grab the strut of the spinning helicopter, screaming because of her gunshot so shoulder, and hooks the strut. So we're going to visualize that more completely here. She just barely jams the hook onto the strut, falling off as the chopper drags the Jeep. Screaming, she stretches out for the strut. Getting the cable, she tugs it free and reaches toward the strut, her shoulder in agony. She kicks away from the windshield. Landing hard on the front of the Jeep, she shatters the windshield, dazed, her shot shoulder bleeding. So this causes this, which causes this, which causes this, which causes this. So now we take the next two. She mauls one of the governor's men with the bear claw and pulls him out the other side of the chopper. Megan heaves Casey out the door, taking a bullet in the shoulder, dives out the door. So we're going to think that through in more detail, figure out the mechanics of this scene in final detail. Dancer is furious and shoots Megan, hitting her and knocking her out of the chopper door. Megan rips Casey away from Dancer and shoves her out the door to the ground 15 feet below. She rakes the bear claw down Dancer's face, cutting his face and neck. Backhanding the governor into the pilot's compartment, she faces Dancer, who holds Casey. She swats the governor's man with her claw, then pulls him out of the chopper's opposite door. So I looked at this and thought it through in a little more detail. And one of my questions is, well, why doesn't the governor just shoot? How come nobody's shooting anybody? With the governor shoved out of the way, another guy knocked out of the door. Um, and I know that Dancer has a knife to Casey's neck. So that's what I figured out. And that's me making it up. And it can be revised because I have yet to write the scene which I will do. But each time you do this, you get a chance to groom it. Here's another chance to think it through again, to improve upon it. If there's something about this that doesn't work, that will be reflected in this. This is now the final product. This is yesterday's news. This got me to this. So you can continually change things, tune them up, basically grooming the material as you go back through it yet again. Then. We're looking at just this. She struggles to her feet on the Jeep's hood and hurls herself up into the chopper's open side door, the bear hide blazing fire. So I'm going to visualize that in more detail. She lands in the chopper, her bear hide suit of flame, struggling to keep her balance. She runs hard at the chopper and flings herself across the four-foot void. Scrambling to her feet, she sees the chopper drifting sideways away from her. She does not want to let them get away. Okay, then we get to the next two. She roars out of control toward the chopper, desperate to reach it before it gets airborne. She hits a sandbar, gets air, and crashes the Jeep full speed into the spinning chopper, getting thrown over the windshield onto the hood. Megan is flung over the windshield and onto the hood. The cause of that? She smashes the Jeep full speed into the spinning helicopter, knocking it sideways. The cause of that? Flooring it, she hits a sandbar, getting air and hurtling right at the governor's chopper. Cause of that, desperate to catch Casey, she steers the Jeep right at the spinning chopper. 
Because of that, she barely keeps from flipping the Jeep. So this causes this, which causes this, which causes this, which causes this. And that is what we just created with the reverse cause and effect. So let's read it from the bottom up. She barely keeps from flipping the Jeep. Desperate to catch Casey, she steers the Jeep right at the spinning chopper. Flooring it, she hits a sand berm, getting air and hurtling right at the governor's chopper. She smashes the Jeep full speed into the spinning helicopter, knocking it sideways. Megan is flung over the windshield and onto the hood. Scrambling to her feet, she sees the chopper drifting sideways away from her. She runs hard at the chopper, flings herself across a four-foot void. She lands in the chopper, her bare hide suit of flame struggling to keep her balance. She swats the governor's man with her claw, then bolts him out of the chopper's opposite door. Backhandling the governor into the pilot's compartment, she faces Dancer who holds Casey. She rakes the bear's claw from Dancer's face, cutting his face and neck. Megan rips Casey away from Dancer and shoves her out the door to the swamp 15 feet below. Dancer is furious and shoots Megan, hitting her and knocking her out the chopper door. Landing hard on the jeep, she shatters the windshield, dazed, and her shot shoulder is bleeding. She kicks away from the windshield as the chopper fights the gusting wind. Grabbing the cable, she tugs it free and reaches toward the strut, her shoulder in agony. Screaming, she stretches out for the strut. She just barely jams the hook onto the strut, falling off as the chopper drags the jeep. Rushing to Casey's side, she drops as the fire races toward them. She frantically rolls in the swamp to soak the bearskin. Megan throws herself atop Casey, bear hide covering them both. Megan and Casey shove their faces down in shallow water in panic as the fire surges in. The burnt bearskin steams and then ignites again as hellfire roils everywhere. Megan and Casey snatch a quick breath as the world burns around them. The jeep keeps the chopper from lifting off. Flames roar in, engulfing everything. Dancer and the governor burn to death, screaming and thrashing in agony. The helicopter burns, wobbling in the blazing sky as Dancer pitches out, screaming. The chopper explodes and one of its blades sticks into the mud next to Megan and Casey. Okay, so that is scene level detail. You can write that scene and that's what I do next. Okay, so if you like the class, please hit the like button. It really helps. Please subscribe so you get new classes as I put them out. And please check out my three month and two year training programs for writers at script.kitchen. I'll train you to expert capability at this tool and the rest of my seven tools. Thanks. If you like this class, you can download this free ebook by going to this link right here and subscribing to my website.